it's a little boyish, sort of youthful, a little punk edge to it. The clothes are very feminine and floral and lots of textures and colors and patterns. So the hair had to be a small head and we've done it in an organic sort of boyish updo. It's twisted in the back and the ends from the back are hanging over one eye in the front. So it's got that kind of floppy, young boyish look. Products we're using Orbe Texturizer mainly and we're using a Pantan Classic Spray to finish it off with. It's just wrapped around and it's pinned randomly so it looks like they did it themselves. I was really inspired by what Sam's doing for hair. A lot of textures within the eyes. We're doing like kind of a slither of black gold. You see right at the lash line and then a splash of that amber gold. We're playing with a new product from Stila that's coming out this fall. It's like a pure metal foil finish cream eyeshadow. So beautiful and it creates enormous looking eyes on the girls. And I think with this collection, it's about punky, kind of boyish charm. A little bit of rock you're going to see within the collection in the shoes. She's like marching to the, the beat of her own drum. It is very much our usual you know, cocktail of references that are not meant to go together. It excites us so much to put together things which are not meant to be. based it on various kind of trips we went on because as we were sort of conceiving the collection we were in like first starting from Brazil so we took like some traditional Brazilian prints cheetah so they are like the big flowery ones and then we were in Wyoming and they were doing log cabin quilts so we took a print based on quilts and cabin work The mini kilt was a key piece for us. We're very fond of it because we created mini kilts uh, when we first started and it is an iconic piece for us. And it's one of the unifying elements of the collection for us. We use it in just about every single and then fabric. Following on from like the kilt buckles, we made like kind of chokers and like sort of straps that went over the shoes which were like beaded and chokers and kind of collars and things like that. So it's sort of slightly punky, it's a starting point, but moved on. Knitwear, and we have like knitted cardigans and jumpers which have like silk fronts and kind of knitted backs and sleeves. two looks. I really like my first look. It's a skirt, like really light blue with uh, lovely flowers and a cool sweater which is really casual but very nice. And the second look is a really cool long black dress. Really easy, no like body shape, casual as well, so it's really cool. And we have some nice shoes here. They're flat, so really comfy. Still fashion, I like the gold and the silver. It's very cool. Yeah, today I have two looks, yeah. Uh, something special is always the Chinese one, you know, I'm a Chinese girl. 
and the color is like a quiet blue and the black is a little dark blue. Yeah, it's pretty. Oh, the second one. Look uh, a, a little the same. It's like a double twins. <laughs> We wanted a very opulent fabric, you know, to contrast with the earthy prints that we were working with. And when we swapped, we just fell in love with it and we had to have it. It's a French silk with giant poppies on it. And the more we looked at it, the more we wanted to work with it and it sort of took over. We like our clothes to be worn by ordinary people, to be quite honest. You know, we love the fact that some clothes can be transformative because they can really lift you from ordinary life into, into a glamorous state by just wearing it. It can be very empowering and that's why we love working with glamorous elements but pare them down and put them into shapes which are very very easy because it's a way of creating a fantasy and uplifting you know the day-to-day -day life <laughs>